everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout again today. And this is a picture of a bonfire, which, you know, seems something kind of silly to be scrapbooking, but really for me, it's more the memory that it calls up, obviously, which we do all the time. So I am going to take that wood plank paper, which is from Pebbles Lakeside, and that's where most of this collection is from. It's kind of like an outdoors and camping collection, but Pebbles Lakeside, and that is the road signs paper and you'll actually see me use things from the back of that as well so then i'm kind of trying to decide what i want my background paper to be um and what other things i might like on here i do like i had a couple other papers there but i do like that tree paper and that paper is the summer camp paper from lakeside and then that constellation paper there which is the stargazer or stargaze paper so i kind of like um those layers together now there's something about that pop of blue that makes this a little bit more interesting i guess and that's why i want that on there so now i have that little piece and i have this postcard piece that's a cut apart i'm going to use that to journal and that um postcard is I'm hoping I wrote it down here and I may not have um I'll see if I can find it for you um anyway I'm going to use that to journal on so then I also liked that border strip there that border strip is from the quilt paper which is the same paper that the houndstooth paper is i thought about using a blue border strip but i didn't care for it as much oh and there there we go i thought i'd shown you that already didn't like the blue border as much i really liked the black and i think i like the black because of the black um in the the picture there that it just helps neutralize that a little bit and then i added at the top you can see i added that little border strip with the fairy lights that is the summer camp paper from this collection. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ink all the edges of these. And even though the um, collection is really all the same, some of the colors are a little bit different, like that blue constellation paper back there. So I think that that really helps bring all of these together i mean i do that all the time when i'm using different manufacturers papers but i really think even if it's the same collection the same manufacturers it just helps bring an element that is the same especially when you have um i like to use papers like a stripe paper or something or a polka dot paper that has all the colors that i'm going to use in the layout but i don't have anything like that on this particular layout so the ink in these is acting or ink in this is acting as the unifying element here all right so the other thing i'm going to do which is really important is i'm going to glue from the top down here and you're kind of seeing me do that that i glued the photo to the postcard which by the way that postcard is from the cut apart paper which is called postcards um but i glued that down then i glued i did glue that fairy light strip to the blue paper or the tree paper and then i glued the photo and the postcard to that and now the the cluster with the tree paper and the photo all to the the blue stargazer paper and that way i don't have to worry about if i get things back in the same order worry <laughs> first world scrapbooker problems right nothing to really worry about but i don't have to be concerned that i maybe didn't get everything all in the same space there or you know back in the exact same place because I'm gluing it down as it happens so I don't have to do that I always admire Sarah Swan who can take stuff apart and get it back <laughs> it's amazing I can't do that I also might be a little bit more anal about the whole thing I guess too all right so now I'm going to start the embellishing and I have that picture of a fire and then I have the marshmallows roasting on a stick there those stickers are from the accent stickers from the lakeside collection and now I'm going to use all of the, these little pieces that I cut apart and that is from the roadside paper with road, si road signs paper 
which is the back side of that wood plank paper that the photo is mounted on. And what I'm really doing here is I picked phrases that might be meaningful here. Um, so like campfire drive up on top there and then the relax that's going in the bottom there. So I'm picking those because we're up at my brother and sister-in-law's cabin here and we have a little tradition of doing a bonfire and then making s'mores, but we don't make just any s'mores. We make candy bar s'mores. So the, with our, well, I guess our Hershey's bar is a candy bar, but we use other candy bars. Like we use Reese's peanut butter cups and um, Milky Ways and Twix and $100,000 bars, which are one of my favorite. And those actually are the chocolate. So you get chocolate and something else. And we use like, you know, fun size bars and that kind of stuff to make it easier but you could do it any way you wanted. So that's what this is really about. And on this particular night, my um, nephew, who is actually in his 20s, was in charge of building the fire. And he built this bonfire so big and so hot, this was in um, August, that we couldn't sit near it at first. It had to die down quite a bit. But you can kind of see, if you could see the photo better, I don't know that you're gonna catch this on screen, but somebody is roasting marshmallows, um, even though the fire is pretty big. So that's kind of the whole thing about, you know, when my nephew built this crazy fire, but this is a tradition for us. And I have scrapbooked pictures of the s'mores itself or whatever s'more I'd created. All right, so I'm not necessarily, like in some clusters, I'll make sure that every color is represented. I'm not necessarily doing that, but I am making sure that the colors from the layout are all represented here. And you'll see that I have some, you know, some of the greens and um, the navies and the light blues and the orange from the fire sticker is in there as well. And then I found that little, I liked that um, arrow there, that double arrow, because it brought the kind of um, olivey green from the background up into the foreground. There's a little bit of that in the trees. And then I kind of looked too, like in the with the fire cluster there, I don't need any blue because there's a lot of blue behind that. So I looked at them all that way as well. Um, kind of like the campfire drive one too. I didn't do any green because there's some green right there. So that's how I do clusters is not always necessarily the exact same elements, but I try to think about spreading color across the layout. That's a good way to describe how I look at it. Sometimes I use the exact same elements, not so much anymore. I used to do that. If you're first working on embellishment clusters, do that. Put three of the same elements in there. So like uh, one flower, one enamel dot, and one word sticker or something like that. And then it'll be a little bit easier for you to do that. And then as you get better at it, you can start kind of doing your own thing. Now I was thinking about somehow using that um, wood stump. I wanted to hide the bird though, because um, there are wood stumps to sit around and we generally bring out really nice chairs, but there are wood stumps to sit on. And that wood stump, I found a different one with the bird on the right side so that um, I can just cover it with the edge of the postcard and then the s'mores there from the accent sticker sheet. And that stump is also from the accent sticker sheet from Lakeside. And so I like how that looks. And I'm just looking, I was thinking about a flower, but I don't have that flower. I don't have any pink on this layout anywhere. I do have to see that bottle. I'm gonna make this work for myself. So it was a bottle with some flowers in it and I did think it was pretty, but that kind of represents the fact that usually when we do this, we have these fires. Of course it involves cocktails, right? So, um, you know, bottles of beer and those kinds of things. So that's where that idea is coming from. Um, for me that again, it's just some of these things are just representing those things like I don't explain that in my journaling when my journaling is done Which you won't see that I do that afterwards, but you you'll see it in the still shots But I don't you know, I don't explain that in the journaling, but when I look at this Layout I'm reminded that there's stumps to sit on and that there that we often have a cocktail around the campfire Or around the bonfire. I guess it is a campfire too. All right, my ATG has been giving me fits uh, lately, so I keep having to move it and change it. 
Now I know what I'm doing now is I'm going to look for an alphabet and I know that I have a scripty font and kind of an olivey green which I think will look nice with this but I don't love this font because it's so scripty. It's actually kind of hard to read some of the letters and um, I think it would be better if I cut like some of the tails off of them and those kinds of things but I don't want to take the time to do that. I'm buying these thickers so that I don't have to alter them. So this is an older alphabet of mine um, called Forest the, uh, from American Crafts and I do like that. Now I'm going to use my wax paper trick here. I do have the thickers guides but anytime I do anything big like this where the title I know is going to be bigger. So I wanted to call it Bonfire and S'mores and um, and I didn't finish my thought. Sorry. Anytime I do something thick, uh, bigger I use the um, I don't use the thicker guides because I want to be able to really get the title done all at once. So I wanted to call this Bonfire and S'mores and realized that I wasn't going to be able to get it on the same line. And so I kind of played with the spacing here a little bit and I ended up actually liking it by hyphenating it. So you'll see I, I kind of, I was going to have to cut a hyphen and then I found a piece that I thought would work really well here. All right, guys, I'm going to glue this down and then add some enamel dots, which you don't see in a couple of asterisks, and then I will be done. Hope you guys are well. I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye.